swing is in the house. I wish he'd come over here and swing you, Cole. because this guy is going to be a star, a major star. An unmatched mean streak when it comes to WWE superstars. Pete Dunne knows so many ways to hurt you, and he enjoys each and every one of them. Almost a, a sick, twisted pleasure that Dunne derives from the opportunity just to, just to hear his opponent scream and wail in pain. They talk about having it, Corey. This kid has it. Intangibles, the skill set, the entitlement. Pete Dunne believes everything belongs to him, and he'll take it forcibly if he has to. Finally, these two are in the ring where their grudge can get settled. No more excuses. We're going to find out who the better superstar is. If Pete Dunne is one thing, it's tenacious. The Bruiserweight's natural instinct is to always attack his opponent. The assaults that follow are devastating to a superstar's well-being. Forget about winning or losing the match. And Pete Dunne's finisher is appropriately named, Saxton. When a superstar gets dropped with the bitter end, they are not getting up. Pete Dunn is all about the intimidation. He's a man of few words, but actions like holding that United Kingdom championship in his teeth as he glares at his competition down the ramp sends a message to his opposition. Yeah, that message is you're about to become the recipient of a pummeling courtesy of the Bruiserweight. Bringing back up Pete Dunne's penchant for intimidation, I'm fine with sending a message during his entrance, but his attacks before and after the bell rings just cross the line. I disagree, Saxton. While most of Dunn's United Kingdom Championship Tournament's opposition were excited for the opportunity, happy to be in front of an English crowd, the Bruiserweight showed everyone he wanted it more with those brutal beatdowns. Uh-oh. Suplex! You know, I asked Cesaro if he had a strategy going into this match, and he said he never really needs a strategy. He just likes to uppercut people in the mouth. Well, unfortunately, I've been on the receiving end of a Cesaro uppercut, and it feels like getting hit by a pickup truck. Someone in the third row better be ready to catch Cesaro's opponent's teeth. See if he takes the bait. Takes him down in a major way, too. Corey spoke to how Cesaro can defeat his opponent. The Swiss Superman brings brutality in spades, but I think it's those lethal uppercuts his opponent needs to watch out for. There are many superstars who have been caught by a Cesaro uppercut, who know that Cesaro puts all his strength behind each shot, making perhaps the strongest strikes in WWE. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Well, better not think too long, though. There's the escape, guys. I think that move just took a little too long to materialize. 
This isn't where he wants to be, guys. He needs to get back inside that ring. He's in a vulnerable spot now, guys. Look at him. He's wide open for attack. Six. He wants no part of the outside. This is going to be big, one way or another. Look out! Oh boy, he is rolling. Here's Pete Dunn into the quick cover. And Cesaro easily avoids the pinball! Effortlessly. It's way too early. on Cesaro's rigorous work ethic, taking him around the globe. It's an example of how Cesaro sets the bar. Oh, Cesaro doesn't set the bar. Cesaro is the bar. The Swiss cyborg thrives on his schedule. Cesaro's the type that never wants to take it. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Oh, boy, he is rolling. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. to the win. Back in from the floor. He's lining him up. Don't you dare get up, man. To the bitter end. Here's his this could do it. One, two. Barely at two and a half. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. gonna take with the damage sustained by Dunn he could be on his way out he may very well be on dream street right now guys clearly they're both running on fumes right now and at this point it might just be a matter of which superstars tank reaches empty first That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh, he can end it here! And that was only a one. Uh-uh. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. To do it. Gentlemen, Pete Dunn might have this one all sewn up. And this has got to be it. One, two. two. I'm not sure if the referee didn't blow that call. Can you believe this? Oh, he's such a tough target. Oh boy, he is rolling. Shoulders on the mat. What a strike. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. Looking for the run over here, the ends of Gary. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. 
Oh, oh, oh man! Oh, what incredible power! Wow, what a vertical suplex! No telling where or when this will end. Oh, chin-breaking uppercut! Warm up the... He's going for the pin! This could be it! Oh, oh somehow! He's still in this. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. He can't withstand one bit more. Axe man! The air just came out of the Cesaro section with that one. Cesaro is in a real bad spot. The bitter end! We have that cover here. One! It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. He's almost got him. We've arrived. It's about time for the bitter end. But he's... There's a pin now. One, two, three. He's done with the victory. Big win for the bruiser weight. That was a big win for him right there. I could watch them go at it each and every week. What a match. As usual, this Philadelphia crowd is beyond boisterous tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in.